you're wondering if your kids are going to love playing with a play couch like this, I recommend buying one locally just to save some money and then see how they respond to it. And if they love it, then you can search high and low, do all your research and find the couch of your dreams. Because let's be honest, if you enjoy one play couch, you're probably going to get hooked just like the rest of us. You'll probably start buying accessories too, like the Crash Cloud from Wild Kids that we have. It is amazing. Let's take a look at three of the popular play couches side by side. Now this is the Wild Kids Dream Couch. My son on the left is about 35 pounds and on the right about 55 pounds. These videos are just to give you a visual of how firm the foam is. We will have stats and information in the comparison chart toward the end of the video. This is the very popular nugget. This was one of the flagship kind of couches that were on the market. And the base is definitely very firm, the thick base, and then the thin base there is softer, which is pretty standard across play couches. And this is the Sam's Club Explorer couch. This is a very popular kind of budget-friendly option um, for play couches, so we just wanted to give you a little bit of a visual on this one too. Stay tuned for foam density info at the end of the video. Something that we've noticed about the Wild Kids Thin Base is that it does feel softer than some of the other thin bases do on the market. A lot of people have said that, and we like that for some purposes, like as a bed topper or just to make like a comfy place to lounge upstairs or for kids to land on, you know. It can be really, really nice for that purpose. Some people prefer a firmer base, even for the thin base, for building and construction. So that is something to think about. Their thick base is very, very firm, as are their triangles. Wild Kids has the thickest thin base at 3.25 inches. Surprisingly, Sam's Club had the thickest thick base at just under six inches. Wild Kids was in second with about five and a half inches, and the Nugget was just over five inches flat. Now we live in the desert southwest and we have an extremely dry climate and I have found that the micro suede style covers, those type of fabric, does create a lot of um, static, static shock kind of thing for our house. So for us, those kind of covers are not our favorite. Um, if we can at all, we try and get the double brushed micro suede as that does seem to cut down on the issue. For materials, the Wild Kids collects the most dog hair for us, followed by the Nugget and then the Sam's Club, which collects virtually no dog hair. Here you can see the handlebars for each of them. Surprisingly, the Nugget handlebar has held up the poorest. It just looks really saggy. And the Sam's Club handlebar is kind of the most flush against the fabric. After one year of use, I'm impressed. You can see the zippers here, that this is the Nugget. And then here is the Sam's Club zipper. It has a little toggle there on the end. And then these are the Wild Kit zippers and they're metal. We bought both of our Sam's Club couches brand new. We bought our Nugget uh, used off of Marketplace for a good deal. And I just wanted to make a note about the Wild Kids because we did get it brand new. However, they were so kind as to send us the Dream Couch to review. We bought the Crash Cloud ourselves because we really wanted something the kids could jump onto and it's been amazing for that. Uh, but I just wanted to take a note that they did send us the couch and we have been using it a lot over the past, I don't know how long it's been, maybe almost a year since they sent it to us. So that's on me. I wanted to just make a note that they did send it to us and I did want to get to it sooner. It We did want to use it for a while before we reviewed it, but a lot of life happened. So big thanks to them and my apologies for taking such a long time to do this comparison. We will have an individual review on the Dream Couch coming out, which I am really excited to do. Here you can see the triangles that come with each couch. Now the obvious difference right off the bat is that the Wild Kids triangles are full length. They go the entire length of the couch cushion, which makes it really, really great for building and having stability on the triangles. But there are a few other differences that I'll be noting as well. You can see the zipper placement here is different on the Sam's Club triangles, and they are of a pointier shape. The nugget's more rounded on the top and the zipper goes along the edge, and the Wild Kids is kind of like a combination of both. Pointy, but also rounded. Another difference is that the Wild Kids tag is sewn on flat, the Nugget tag hangs off, and the Sam's Club doesn't have a tag at all. One of the nice things about foam couches is that it's such open-ended play. It can appeal to kids of all ages. All of my kids like it, and all of my kids love to play with them for different reasons. They also all really love the forts that my husband comes up with, and he is so much more creative about these than I am, and I'm really thankful for that because this is literally in like an hour of fun at a time. Part of the reason why we held off on making this video was that we were hoping to get the Wild Kids foam density information, but it's still in testing and it looks like it will be for a while, so we will update that in description when it becomes available. The biggest advantage to the Nugget is that it does offer more couch cover material options. 
And the biggest advantage to the Wild Kids is that they do have those wonderful full-length triangles. The Explorer Couch is a more budget-friendly option that has still performed pretty well for us over time. We do love the Wild Kids accessory options, though. I did a whole lot of research for that comparison chart, so I really hope that it was helpful. Uh, the only company out of the three that we've actually been in contact with is the Wild Kids customer service. They've always been really good whenever we've reached out to them for questions, you know, making this video kind of thing. Um, also, they offer a, like a one-time military discount, which we have definitely inquired about and appreciate. We always appreciate when companies support our military and our veterans and those kind of things. So thank you for that, Wild Kids. And uh, yeah, I, if you have any questions or any comments, anything I can help you with, we got all of these couches for probably about a year now or maybe even more, depends on which one. So happy to answer any questions that you have. I know that there have been some concerns in some of the groups about the Sam's Club zippers and how they hold up. We've had absolutely no problem with either one of our couches on the zippers. The only thing that we've noticed is that the like materials um, little tag that's on there, you know, the contents and all that stuff of the fabric and all that, that thing rips off really quick, which is fine because we actually don't prefer to have the tag sticking out like that. So that's the only thing we've had kind of like tear off or pull off. But as far as the zippers go, they've always held up really well for us. We definitely recommend getting waterproof couch covers. Our favorites are from Oopsie Daisy Kids. They have saved our couches a few times now. We made a comparison video with them, which you will see linked here at the end of this video. We will also be having individual reviews on each of these couches coming up, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful. Catch you on the next one. Bye!